All right, in this video, we're going to be looking at how we round money or in particular how we round using cash, okay? So before we do that, it's important that we understand the uh, currency that we have and the way that we use that. So we, um, in Australia, we have the five cents, the 10 cents, okay? Um, we have then a dollar, etc. cetera, it moves on through there. So it's important that we understand the difference between these two because they're the place value that they fit in. So when we're talking about cents, if we wrote that down as a decimal, that would look like uh, zero dollars, and so the five goes in the hundreds column, and when we say ten cents, that would look like zero dollars and ten. Okay, so the the one then, when using ten cents, is in the tenth column. So basically, what we're looking at, if we're focusing here on five cents, all our coins are going to either be between a five or a zero. So this is what we're going to do with this question. Round to the nearest five cents. We've got two examples here. We need to make sure that we understand this concept, okay? So we've got given some money here, but it needs to either be a five, needs to end in either a five or a zero. So we're gonna go through the two steps again. Now step one is make sure you know which decimal place, okay? So as we did last time in the previous video, you need to know which decimal place. And here it says we're rounding to the nearest five cents. So we're gonna be focusing on these ones here as we've just seen them. Step two, slightly different than what we've been doing previously. Step two, you need to work out whether the number is going to round up or it's going to round down. It might it won't necessarily stay the same. It's either going to be moving up to the nearest five cents or down to the zero cents there. So let's look at this as an example. We've got over here again our number chart. <clears throat> We're going to separate this into whether we uh, round up or down. So in between the zero and the five, we have four numbers. And they all indicate whether we wish they need to move either to the zero or to the five or to the five and to the zero up here. So the way it's worked is pretty much just split down the middle. So if it's a one or a two cents, if it ends in the one or the two cents, it's going to round down to zero cents. If it's a three or a four cents, that's going to be rounding up towards the five cents. Again, on the other side of that, if it's a six or a seven, it's going to be rounding down to the five cent. And if it's eight or nine, that's going to be rounding up to the nearest dollar, okay, which will be the zero. So what we have here, we have a range of different ups and downs depending on where it fits in this number chart. So we should be able to answer this question here. So the question is eight dollars and fifty-three cents. We're going to round it to the nearest five cents. So we focus purely on this number here. We don't need to look back when we're focusing on cents. All right. So the way that we do this is that we have three. If we look to our chart. Now three needs to round up to the nearest five cents. So that's going to be $8.55. Okay, so you can see how that does that one. Now in the previous video, we worked out again, what if we have nine? Okay, so nine needs to round up. In this case, we see nine it needs to round up to the nearest dollar. We can't do that, so that's going to raise again. But that one's this one needs to also raise. So then we've got to jump that again. So we actually end up with having straight five dollars. Okay, so the noun, the nine, sorry, continues to move up if it, until we can get to an actual number that we can round. So in this case, we actually have $4.99. It's rounded up to $5. So that's how we round with money. Uh, make sure you understand this process here in particular and the two steps. We'll be able to do a bit more in class. Thanks, boys.